Greetings, my fellow Southern Cameroonians. We in the Southern Cameroon Defense Forces Central Command and all our federated forces within the homeland are optimistically strong and unshaken about the delivery of the independence we seek. And also, a special thanks to all our brothers and sisters in the Ngomba squad who possesses all the natural powers from our ancestors that have decided and signed up to work with Southern Cameroon Defense Forces. I want to take this opportunity to thank every single Southern Cameroonian at home and in the diaspora about their achievements and the perseverance that all of us have displayed despite being neglected by the rest of the international communities and developed countries looking at us paying no attention at our plight and suffering in the hands of the colonial regime of la republic de cameroon but those days are about to come to an end my fellow brothers and sisters now the two I want to tell now, and I say, I don't come for you. Now we can't talk about the problem, and also the immediate way they happen now for country. We we'll picking them for country. They never go to school for a very long time, and now the retail will we'll picking them say, may they go write general common entrance exam GCE. The two hour one asks now say, how we go do right? We begin to go write this GCE where the nobody go school all this while, no preparation in class and nothing, and all this because of the problem and the colonial government for Yaoundé where it can colonize us, where it start all this big problem where we begin to don't go almost a year, school don't cancel, and then the one minute they can't write GCE may look like say something don't be normalized for the country. So I they instruct all parents within Southern Cameroon not to allow any of their unprepared children to go write that examination. That examination, now false examination where the government they try to show for the world, say they do something for Una and country don't be normal. No, the country is not normal. Southern Cameroon is a people fighting for their independence from La Republic de Cameroon. Full stop. So the GCE thing should be scrapped across Southern Cameroon because there was no preparation in the first place and the kids were not going to school. We shouldn't pretend as if things are normal within the territory. So directives have been given to all federated forces to take action to make sure that this examination is not held in any part of Southern Cameroon. And the Francophone students that have been bossed in by La Republic de Cameroon also should be prevented to write this examination at any centers that have been orchestrated or planned by La Republic de Cameroon to pretend again once more that Southern Cameroonian students are writing an examination for higher education or whatever this is just a charade so my my cry to all parents in southern cameroon we know the problem why when kids don't go to school how the parents feel but we need a better future for our children not a future that is fake full with fraudulency from yaoundé so with that said all federated forces of the Southern Cameroon Defense Forces should take appropriate action to make sure that these exams don't hell, they don't hold within Southern Cameroon. And I congratulate those forces that have already started taking the action and have taken actions already to make sure that this we achieve this goal of stopping this fraudulent system to be perpetrated 
up against our people and pretend to the rest of the world as if things are normal. So now, the most important part of what I want to talk about today, Nadis 20 May Palava. Ngomba, I thank you for that work you don't do for Boya. And all we picking them, when they incite the Federated Forces for SCDF, I thank you all. I know we'll call the various names for the people. But I want to tell you when I say, the Central Command, with the support we don't give you and the, the strength we don't show, and the organization we get them for ground, we are very proud in the Central Command. And I want to tell you say the directive we have been given you where we for the Central Command will be given you especially my deputy, Mr. Ying Fu Sango. It be send you directives for what you need to do. And we we'll don't submit, we we'll plan them. And we don't review the plan them. And we don't prepare the funding for when we'll I plan them. We we'll get for make sure, say, this 20th May event don't hold within our territory. And any person where go join Francophone for can hold this event inside our territory, that person is going to be labeled a black leg and that person gonna be registered inside the black book of Southern Cameroon Defense Forces and we're gonna personally visit that person. If that person is a Southern Cameroonian, that person gonna have to explain to us and there will be consequences for any Southern Cameroonian who go and participate in that 20th May. So I'm warning all Southern Cameroonian officials who are participating and collaborating with this fraudulent government from Yaoundé that if you want to celebrate this organis this 20th May event, if you think that you are part of that government that is raping the resources from our, from our, from, 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 from our territory, that is killing our people, that is falsely jailing our young men and women, that is brutalizing our people across our territory, stealing our resources, you participating with them we will be given a sentence by us your people that you will not live to see the new republic born this is a direct warning to all southern cameroonian officials who are participating and collaborating with a brutal regime that is killing your own people and you parade in Yaoundé as if you are representing them. That is all falsehood. The Southern Cameroon Defense Forces have ordered all federated forces within the homeland to seek these black legs, extract them from the population, and deal with them accordingly. Now, if you don't want to be a victim, if you don't want to receive such consequences in your life you can be you can deport yourself to la republic de cameroon east of the mongo what i'm saying here is any official who is collaborating with the government of that brutal regime of that fraudulent regime in yaoundé If you are of Southern Cameroon origin, you must rest assured that we are coming for you. The Southern Cameroon Federated Forces within the homeland are coming for you specifically to round you out of the population and deal with you squarely so the world should know that you, as a Southern Cameroonian, you had no business collaborating with the people that are perpetrating such blunt and aggression against your own people in Southern Cameroon. We all know that we have been talking about this for quite some time now. But the fact remains, liberation and independence 
is not an easy task. It's a very difficult task for the simple reason being there are international forces that are benefiting also from our oppression as Southern Cameroonians. These international forces give the false legitimacy to the colonial government of Yaoundé to keep on doing what they are doing to our people and to our homeland. But we, as Southern Cameroonian born people, must stand up and understand that this fight, no matter how long it takes, we shall prevail. No matter how long it takes, we shall prevail in this fight. Because this fight is only natural that we, the people of Southern Cameroon, decide our own destiny. We are all living in different parts of the world. But we have to understand that the goodwill that have been shown to us by our adopted countries, we must show that goodwill back to our people who are still in the homeland. We must fight with our people who are still in the homeland. We must unite our people who are living in different parts of the world and bring them back to the homeland like the children of Israel and build a new republic that is going to be a republic of peace, prosperity, and unity. We are one people, my brothers and sisters. Now, with this said, we still have a long way to go. Even though we are making great strides, all our brothers in the political factions, in the civil society, are also doing the very best that they can to make sure that we achieve the independence we seek. But I want to take this moment again to ask Southern Cameroonians not to follow the struggle, but engage in the struggle. Don't follow the struggle. Engage yourself in the struggle. And today, I'm asking you all one, once more that you all should participate by engaging yourselves, your resources, through the vehicle that we created as a people, Skakov. Skakov is an umbrella organization the only repeatable or umbrella organization that we as a people should do everything in a, within our capacity to fund our struggle, our liberation struggle. We don't want other people from outside to put a lien on our liberation struggle because they gave us the resources for us to achieve the independence we seek. We have to be able to finance our own independence. That is why I came to you guys today, to all of you, my brothers and sisters, to understand that the mission that we have embarked on, we cannot turn back. We cannot fail. We have the strength, the stamina, and we are determined to push to the finish line. So I'm asking you all one more time, to take this opportunity and engage yourself with all your strength, all the fiber within you to fight until we get to Boya and restore the independence that we are all hoping, that we are all fighting, that we are all together wishing that we could have been helped. But unfortunately, Nobody from outside is going to help us. So we have to help ourselves. I'm asking every single Southern Cameroonian who is capable of financially helping the struggle to donate resources to Skakov to help both on the military diplomacy, 
the military actions that is necessary and the political diplomacy that is necessary to finalize this fight and take us to where we need to go and create our republic. I am now asking all the factions to come together, especially the political factions, because we in the military, we have already consolidated almost 90% of the forces and the groups within the homeland under the central command of Southern Cameroon Defense Forces. We are one people, we need one army. So Southern Cameroonians rest assured that the Southern Cameroon Defense Forces is steadfast, capable, and willing to fight and push La Republic Army out of the territory of our beloved homeland. And also, I want to thank the one Southern Cameroonian in Germany, who is the first Southern Cameroonian to actually give donation to Southern Cameroon Defense Forces that has been utilized for one of the projects within the homeland this week. Thank you, sir, for your patriotism and thank you for understanding who we are as a people. So far, all the resources, thousands of dollars that have been put in the recruiting, financing, planning within the Southern Cameroonian board, within the Southern Cameroonian territory has come directly from private funds of the Central Command of Southern Cameroon Defense Forces without a single penny of donations being collected. We are not interested in collecting donations ourselves. We want to be very transparent to the Southern Cameroonian people as we have indicated in my last live video that we want all donations to be given to Skarkov because Skarkov is the sole organization, umbrella organization within this struggle that we believe in from the military wing and that we want all Southern Cameroonians to put their stake in because we believe working together under a defined structure between the Southern Cameroon Defense Forces and Skarkov shall bring us the independent that we seek. Good night. <laughs> no, I wasn't feeling it too much, man. <laughs> because I, I went off strip a little bit of the thing. Oh, it's going to